don't mind i will be a flight nurse okay hello welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching my video and if you've been following my video my channel you know that um my channel is about nursing health fitness and lifestyle generally and in today's video i'm going to be talking about flight nurse if you have a dream of becoming a flight nurse or you have the you have a love or passion for becoming a flight nurse so this video is for you make sure you watch this video to the end and don't subscribe to give me a thumbs up or give me a like after watching this video and make sure you share your comments with me I would love to hear from you how your journey in nursing has been or what's your specialty and things you like to do in nursing so let's talk it let's go into the topic yes yeah, so flight nurse who are flight nurses is it a specialty in nursing is it a type of nursing specialty Listen to this video watch this flight video and are also known as transport nurses and They are registered nurses and they are trying to provide medical care as a transport patient inside the, either inside the helicopter or inside the aircraft That is what they do flight nurses work with other trained medical practitioners like the paramedics and physicians to ensure patients are well cared for during transit and reach their destination safely so you know definitely they are moving a patient from one place to another so, these specialized nurses provide comprehensive pre-hospital emergency critical care and hospital level care either from the scene of an accident or while transporting inter facility from hospital to hospital and they are often charged with the care of a vast scope of patient population so now what does flight nurses do what do they do we want to know what they do what's making them different from the normal nurses from normal nurses that we all know now the flight nurses perform daily checks of aircraft because they work in a aircraft or in an aeroplane so they perform daily checks of aircraft and equipment with their partners their daily duties include cleaning the on-call rooms their daily activities include checking the expir expiration dates of medications using the aircraft because they have to ensure that all medications used are up to date at one point or the other now as a flight nurse what you do basically basically everything you do is is similar to what is done in the ER that's the emergency room or in the ICU that's intensive care unit but it's um, this this thing is happening in a much smaller space so um, and um, they don't have adequate resources like it, they are actually in a real ICU so it's just like a cloned IC or a cloned ER room. That is how what the flight room, the flight nurse has to work with. Now the flight nurse also must be very comfortable in all areas. As a flight nurse, you have to have experience majorly in ICU or ER for a number of years, like 10 to 15 years or eight years and above yeah that's how much you can see and the flight nurse has to be very calm and be able to think critically must be able to think quickly must be able to think fast and also must be able to think safely and um, they work in a very small space in extreme conditions that is what most of them because they don't have all the facilities to work but majorly they transport critical patient so they still have to work in a scene like they are working in a ICU or in a ER. Now, I've t told you basically what an, a flight nurse does and what they do, their, their major activities and how they perform their day-to-day -day activities. Now, how do you become a flight nurse? If you are interested in becoming a flight nurse, and you've actually talked about it, how do you become a flight nurse? If you want to become a flight nurse, there are some steps you have to complete, and which includes you have to become a registered nurse. First of all, that's the basic thing, the most important thing. And in order to become a flight nurse, you will need to have earned your RN from a program that is very accredited, that is your registered nurse certificate and you must be registered with your council and you must have an up-to-date license and um most times like in the u.s you have your, your NCLEX must be your your NCLEX you have the NCLEX RN now the other thing you need to have 
to become a flight nurses. Basically, you must have years of experience in either the ICU or in the ER. Now, typically, most times they look for um, some time from the research I did, you can have about three to five years experience in the ICU or five years and above experience in the ICU. It all depends on um, the level of flight nurse that is needed, but basically, you have to have experience in acute setting and the acute setting they really want is ER, that's the emergency room or in the ICU. And um, there's a, the, the third thing needed is to get certified. Yes, becoming a certified flight nurse. And there's a course for that, that's um, CFRN, Certified Flight Registered Nurse from the Board of um, Certification of Emergency Nursing. I think that is under the Emergency Nursing Board they have a, a there's a certification for that you can do there's a course you can do to become a flight nurse now these are the things needed to become a flight okay i'll be answering some questions people um ask about being a flight nurse how many hours do flight nurses work in a week it depends on where you work actually you can work 24 hour shifts and that you can work 24 hours at a go or you can work six to eight shifts in a month. That um, if you work twenty-four hour shift at a go, that you just work eight to six to eight shifts in a month. That's um, how often you can work as a flight nurse. So you have a lot of time to rest, isn't it? <laughs> okay. So is being a flight nurse dangerous? I know a lot of people. These thoughts come to your mind. I will be a flight nurse. Okay. Is it dangerous actually? There are risks associated with um, flight nursing, such as aircraft, aircraft crashes, and environmental factors such as weather condition. So, this is just the risk associated with being a flight nurse. That's a general risk for anyone flying a plane, isn't it? So, basically, that's a general risk for not just for flight nurse, for, but for everyone flying a plane. And, um, uh, what certification do you need to get a flight nurse job? Apart from being a registered nurse and going on the course to becoming a registered flight nurse, certified registered flight nurse, it is also important to have some um, certifications like the basic life support, pediatric advanced life support, the advanced cardiac life support, the transport professional advanced trauma course. So these are some certifications that are very important for you to have. If you are want, if you have this passion or goal of becoming a flight nurse, these are the certification I will advise you to pick up. And another thing I was able to discover is that there is weight limit for becoming a flight nurse. So it was said that um, you should be about two fifty pounds. Your weight should not be more than that to become in a flight. Like that means if you are overweight, you won't be able to take on a flight loss. So if you are overweight, you can try and reduce the weight before you start becoming a flight loss. Before you want to take, before you take up the course, becoming a flight loss. Okay, thanks. This is what I have for you. The information I have for you about um, how to become a flight nurse. If you are interested, you should try and find out more about it. Take up the course and start your professional career in flight nursing. my video i'm sure you gained something in this video if you have not joined my family click the subscribe button thank you very much and don't forget to turn on the notification bell as i'll be bringing you more updates on nursing health fitness and lifestyle generally thanks for watching my video i'll be seeing you in my next video and i'm your girl roots see you in my next video bye